markets opened down this morning despite the Federal Reserve saying it will take unprecedented measures to calm investors fears. The announcement follows Wall Street's worst week since 2008 and while concerns over the pandemic hit other major global markets as well. Melissa Armo is the CEO and founder of Stock Swoosh and she joins us now by phone to talk to us this morning. Melissa, thank you for being with us and can you explain how the new Federal Reserve measures will work? Well, the Fed is trying to do everything they can to support really the bond market right now uh, because the bond market has taken a hit as well as the stock market. So I think that that I think that some of these measures that the Fed is taking are going to work. But the problem is until we we find a way to either a vaccine or a way to curb the outbreak, I'm not sure that it, that any of these things are really going to ultimately solve the problem. But what, what the Fed came out today is said that they're going to support and give an unlimited, and I think this is what was really powerful in the statement today, an unlimited amount to support um, mortgage-backed securities. And so w before, in the past, they had always put a limit on the amount of support they were going to give. So when they, when they say unlimited amount of support for treasuries and mortgage-backed securities, I think that was what was powerful in the statement. The, People want to know that the Fed is going to be there. And I think right now banks particularly may be getting nervous that because businesses are not open, they don't have any money coming in, they're trying to support their employees. And also some people are laid off work, of again, no fault of their own, that banks are going to see a higher default ratio in loans. So the Fed is saying we're, we're here and the unlimited word what was really powerful to do whatever, whatever it takes. I mean, that, that, and that wording today was powerful because they're going to attempt to support what right now, it, it, I mean, everyone's thinking we're going to go into recession. I, I just don't see how it doesn't happen at this point. Melissa, which industry stocks are taking the hardest hits? Well, obviously the airlines, because no one wants to fly, the cruise lines, because people were getting sick on the, on the cruise ships, on the, on the travel, anything that, to do with, uh, restaurants and anything where people would be going out socializing. A lot of restaurants, for example, you know, in big cities, they have to be open all the time in order to pay their leases, in order to pay their loans. So I think the biggest hit is really anything to do with the restaurant industry or travel tourism. Now, they're talking about this bailout. They haven't figured out what they're going to pass yet for the stimulus program, but I think part of it is going to be a way, some type of stimulus to be able to help support some of these other industries. How much what that's going to be, when it's going to pass, nobody knows. The market initially this morning was down a lot. Then we had a big rally when the Fed came out with this news, and then we collapsed and opened, then lower. That was a very, very bad sign. I think the sooner that the Congress passes something, some kind of stimulus, the better. The problem is that what's it going to be, and is it going to be enough? for this market to get back on track because right now the market's broken and every day people get up and any amount of red that they see in the day, people are getting scared. They're selling out of the retirement and they're just, they're selling their stock positions. Melissa, you touched on this here. Uh, you said you don't see how a recession doesn't happen. So what would that look like? And, and if, when? Gosh, it, you know, it's just it's just so hard to say. I mean, if you if you had asked me this, you know, six weeks ago, I never thought it would get to this point. And I think it's take it day by day. And again, as far as investors go, you really have to try. And this and also on a personal note, you can't you can't be in fear about what's going on. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Listen to what the government's saying about the stay at home orders. But as far as your investments go, I just hate to say people bailing out of all the retirement monies if the, if the market's eventually going to come back. The problem is to time when the market's going to come back is very difficult at this point because, again, we didn't know this was going to happen at all this year. We didn't know how long it was going to go on. So it's really hard to say when it's going to stop. Investors continue to want to keep buying bottoms in this market. Like right now, today, if we rally, if we go green, investors will come in and buy. But we could be lower again tomorrow. We could be lower the next day. And so it's really hard to time here exactly when we're going to stop drifting off. I think that it could go on pretty much into the summer as far as the selling goes, although it may not be as bad as it seems in the last two weeks. I think that the market is going to probably not get back up to the highs anytime soon, if at all, in 2020. And so that's difficult for people to accept. But if you have retirement money invested and you're not in retirement, then I say hold through this because what you don't want to do is sell. And then you have realized 
realize losses if you're down when you sell out of a position. Those losses then become real. Right now, if you're in stuff and they're down, the losses aren't realized. And so people have to kind of hang on if they want to look at it as a long-term viewpoint. Melissa, last week we saw a huge increase in jobless claims, and analysts are expecting an even bigger jump this week. So what impact are the unemployment numbers having on the markets? I definitely think that's one of the reasons we sold off uh, on Friday. We sold off Friday because the numbers were higher than expected. You're probably going to continue to see that again this week. And again, that's why I'm saying here, even if we rally today, we could sell off by the end of the week. Each time those numbers come out, they're going to look worse and worse and worse. Because remember, the numbers are retroactive. So all of this that's been happening with the layoffs, we're only one week into the period where the administration said the 15-day stay-at-home order. So we're going to continue to see that rise, at least until they have some kind of stimulus package out. But for now, a lot of people are out of work, and it's not their fault.